2020. Almost four years, holy shit. Holy shit, I am so happy and hi, I love you guys. I'm rock hard, baby. I've been good. Thank you. Stinky. Thank you. You know, here's the thing about Tupperware. Why is Tupperware lids all different sizes? I just discovered food service containers from this guy who slices cucumbers in TikTok, and the game has changed. Every lid the same size, no matter how big the container, how can big Tupperware even compete? You know, at at my old uh, my old work, One they would month. say, "We don't care if you're sick, just come in." <clears throat> they say, "Come in," which is terrible. <laughs> Why would they say that? Because you get everybody else sick, right? But I'm I came in. I'm here now. People saying L immune system. I, listen, okay. I don't want to hear it. I, I listen. I don't want to hear it. Some of you like goofy retards get on a flight once every four years. All right. I'm sorry. You don't know what your L immune system. You don't know what your. In fact, <laughs> in fact, I'm I'm actually just here today to argue for about an hour, and then cancel stream. But before I do, what what do you unk look and ask? What do you what do you call me? It is W immune system. I've been on six flights in the last like month and a half, and I'm actually proud. I was like, damn, I haven't gotten sick. We went to Vegas. For three days, which I was like, I know. I'm hey, Wubby, this is your boss. Get a better immune system. I was like, I've flown nine times this year, and not sick. <clears throat> oh, do you want me to shake your fucking hand? What you want? To, do you want a high five? What do you want? Good, congrats. Okay, I went to Vegas. Which every time I go to Vegas, I'm like, I know I'm getting sick. Didn't get sick. I was like, all right, sweet. Went to L.A. I'm like, okay, there's a lot of people. Okay, I didn't get sick. Cool. Went to Portland. This was all in the last like month didn't get sick. I was like, okay, this is working really great. And then I made the mistake of going to Yeehaw, Texas. And here we are, boys. Streamer many sick. Clifford. 38, just as old as me. Kisses. Dana sucks. Over a year, whoa. Listen, I'm just here to update you guys. Stinky I'm stinkies. just here to update you guys. I shouldn't have even gone live. I'm just going to be bullied for being Stinky weak. It's crazy, too, dude. It's crazy because let him forget I would pay any amount of money chat. to not have to hey be there, sick Dennis, when We're going to need sick. you to find someone to cover your shift. Otherwise, <laughs> you can't approve your request. Just throw yeah. a mask on and don't talk to the customers. You're right. You're right. I'm just here so I don't get fined. 
No, I know. Because it's always like, if, so if I cancel and don't show that I'm hey, sick. Hey, son, sorry people... you don't feel well. Left a case of Pedialyte outside your door and cleaned that binky so, of yours. Love uh, you, bunch. I'm actually doing okay as far as like compared to that one time I got really sick. <clears throat> this just feels like a cold. I feel kind of shitty. I don't want to be live. You know how it is, you know? I don't feel terrible. It's a cold. It is what it is. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I kind of want to just go lay down. We were overdue for a wubby sick. With how much I've been traveling, I, I feel that. Like, here's the thing, right? You travel, and then someone you're hanging out with goes, yeah, just last week, I was really sick. I'm like, Ugh. okay, so I guess then probably I'm going to get sick. <clears throat> not COVID, not HIV. Thank you, though. Thank you for your concern. Do you believe in medicine? I took DayQuil right before stream. <laughs> Wubby went N95. No, my dude... My coworker loves your magic streams now. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. I'd still let this sick uh, motherfucker. I'd still let this sick motherfucker blow my bussy out. That's crazy. Can we at least pick a game? Well, that's what we're here to do tonight, chat. We're we're I'm here because we have some keeping of the house. Bill to Wubby take is care my of. favorite Wubby variant. Always has the most unhinged flavor text. Oh, dude. I'm 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 not. At least gonna, he has I'm ready to get mad. It's still small, but hey, at least the the blanket is on inside out. Do you wash your hands or hey, anything? Hey, Chad, brother? did you know that instead of being sick and gross, you can use Code Wubby on Adam and Eve and get a flashlight and make that sick and gross instead? Uh, listen, I do wash my hands. I'm I I I get grossed out by things easily, and I I get this thing in my head where my hands have I can feel the germs on my hands because I'm weird. And then, uh, and also, I gotta be real. <clears throat> COVID's a joke if you're healthy. Hey, man, listen, can't I just be sick without you trying to, like, soapbox? Like, I get it. No one in your day-to-day -day wants to hear it, so you take my chat as an opportunity to, like, get whatever opinion you read online. But, like, dog, I'm ju I am just have a cold. I don't care. Please, bro. I do not care. I just have a cold. I can't. This ain't it. Cheese is the best food. Amen. I remember too on my flight back from Texas, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to wear a mask. I'm not going to do it. Whatever. And there was some motherfucker coughing on the flight. And I remember thinking, I'm like, nah, it's not going to matter. It's not going to make a difference. Uh, hope you feel better. I, I feel, I, by the way, if you guys are wondering, Monday, I did Magic Monday. Monday night, I was sitting at my desk playing Baldur's Gate and I noticed my eyes started to hurt. And I was like, okay, maybe I'm just tired. Maybe, like, maybe I started coping. Like, oh, maybe I'll be fine. Went to bed. Woke up Tuesday. I'm like, I'm sick. I had, like, a mild fever. Just felt like shit. Woke up today. Feeling a little bit better. Not as bad. I remember when I got really sick, it was like every day I would wake up, it was worse. Every single day, it got worse and worse and worse. But this is not as bad. I'm already feeling better than I was on Tuesday. <clears throat> the hours leading up to getting six ducks. Yeah, because you know it's coming. Uh, if you give subs today, you're going to get a very sad thank you. So here it comes. Uh, Scryrawl, thank you. That's the that's the best I can do. I'm sorry. Thank you for the 10. I promise you this is full excitement. Becca May. Becca May. Thank you. Lucas Bit. Thank you. Thank you. This is full. This, we're at 10 right now. You, you want me to crank it to 11 for the boys? Here we go. Jono. That's 11. <laughs> Lijink, thank you. <coughs> Emotional cactus. Emotional cactus. Oh my god, somebody, this is actually embarrassing. Don't give subs today, guys. There's no content. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is, this is a ghetto right here. I ran out of tissues, so I'm just toilet papering it. I want you guys to know, real quick, before I continue to thank these subs, if I sneeze, stream is over. If you if you're sick right now, you know what I'm saying. I'm at the my nose is so plugged and also so runny. If I sneeze, it is a 10 minute like ordeal. I I like it blows out my nose. It's ever do some coke. What world are you living in? Oh, yeah. Just wanted to say oh, I you. love you, whoops. Sorry thank to hear you. you're sick. And you're still here working the hardest job on earth. Booty brought me tissues. God's toughest and all that. Oh, stinky Binky! Ah! 
I've actually cleared my nose just now. That actually just cleared my nose. Um. Yeah. Also, yeah, I I do I do I do. Here's the thing, right? There are people in this chat who get sick more than me. There are people in this chat who get sick less than me. I get sick the most out of my friends. I recognize that, right? But I also travel the most. And I know, you're going to cite how much you travel and how you don't get sick. I get it. Congrats. I promise you, chat. I fucking promise you. Especially when I have content planned, which we did. I don't want to misstream. I lose money. I piss off my audience. Also, more importantly, above that, why would I... I don't want to feel like shit. <laughs> I Literally, Monday night, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I don't want to get sick. However, though, I will say this... <laughs> I will say this, though. If I'm going to get sick, this is like the best time for me to get sick right now. Because right now, I'm in a window where I, I'm not really going to be traveling much. And we have a lot of big shit coming up. TwitchCon, MagicCon, and an East Coast trip. That's all coming up in the next three months. And so I let me get it out of the way now. This is actually perfect timing because we just did Vegas, LA, Portland, Austin. And the whole time I was like, don't get sick, don't get sick. The second we finish with Austin, I get sick. I'm like, you know what? GG, that's fair. I can take it. I'll take this cold. Booty brought me tissues. That's so kind of him. Thank you, Booty. Are you going to saw con? Brother, I want you to saw con. I'm going to sneeze. Uh-oh. Why, why Portland? I was in Portland to film with the professor. Hey, Wubby. Let me thank these subs real quick. I know that immune system ain't doing much for you, but but I hope you get better. <laughs> it actually is. I, I, I'm already beaten this cold. I think I'll be fine by Friday, genuinely. Knock on wood. God willing. Um, thank you to, uh, to Science Fiction Girl. That's our favorite eyebrowless Australian. Thank you to Dwayne the Rock Lobster for 20 seemed unnecessary five subs and i'll make sure it happens like you'll make sure i'm not sick is this new merch don't worry about it the dictionary thank you you know what because the dictionary gifted subs i'm gonna do a word of the day also chat if you're wondering wubby what are you doing today i don't like this i type am of so content. proud to be supporting the stream of a young middle eastern woman inshallah you feel better my little habibi oh uh No full stream, but how about a chill <coughs> video watch of that show someone posted on a sub <coughs> called My Husband's Not Gay? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what do they say? Hey, man. Hope you feel better, big cat. You are a trooper. Also, I can't wait for the new merch rollout. Love you, man. I love you guys. Thank you. I, I hate having to stream sick, dude. Like I said, like I, I, my friend who was in the military, he was telling me, like, Having to all do all the fitness shit when you're sick. And honestly, I know that, like, he knows that I have it harder than he does. You know, bullets whizzing by his head. Someone's screaming at him. His buddy's bleeding out in front of him. And he goes, God, well, we had to go live when he had us. He had the sniffles. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. And, and Macabre, thank you for the five, man. And it just so much money's pouring in and, like, I don't deserve it. And you know how hard that is on me? You know? Check this shit out. This was linked to me, me before Juan chat Lafonta. or before stream started. And I got, I just want, I don't know. It's, it Call sucks me you in. Juan LaFonta because I'll fight for you. Man, why you look so serious? We got to bounce this out. Remix. Oh, he fight. He don't play. People saying who? Are you retarded? Bro, the, the lyrics have two words. Juan LaFanta. What do Middle Eastern people say? I want my brain keeps going to the word Ola, but I can say with confidence that cannot be right. <clears throat> no, 
last right. It's a 59 second video and I feel like it just went on for like 15 minutes. That was crazy. Hey, but there it is. Chat Juan LaFonta. You know who to call now if you're ever... Um... Marwa Baba Habibi. I, I... Oh. Juan Lafonta, 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 Juan Lafonta. Damn, Wubby. That video made me realize something. You're on the front lines, and thank you for your service. As Salamu Alaikum. As Salamu Alaikum. Thank you, brother. And let me thank the rest of these subs here. We had we had the dictionary. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I need to do a word of the day. Don't say I never taught you anything. Word of the day. All right, guys. The word of the day. You guys ready? We're going to learn together. That Dayquil is doing wonders right now, by the way. I love my brew when I'm sick. Oh, that's 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 crazy. You know what? I don't care. I'll be real. Dagoth. Hey, what's with the sad Jawa and ginger face? Did a stormtrooper attack a sand crawler? WTD, stinky binky. Dude, Jawas are so racist. Uh, the word of the day is ossify. 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 Something that ossifies becomes hardened or conventional and opposed to change. Oh, in medical context, something that ossifies forms or is transformed into bone. My dick ossified when the big booty Latina waddled by. Here's it in, in a sentence. We all probably need to be better about dealing with the gradual buildup of small annoyances in our lives before they ossify. Drake, I'm from oh. New Orleans. Big Frida is unfortunately a big deal. You should check out her animated version of the wheels on the bus. I'm sorry, Ossify, I didn't have that much, or Ossify didn't have that much. Hey, Wubby, I have an old yesterday. cold treatment that my mom used to do when I was younger. Yeah. All you need is to go to the store and get some unsalted peanuts. I hope that your mom is six feet under, and I hope that a very, a very noisy and, and, and IBS riddled chihuahua comes and diarrheas on her. And I hope that your mother, being so one with the earth as she is, does everything in her dead power to suck any nutrients out of that chihuahua diarrhea. Shouts out. Bobby, what the fuck? What do you mean, what Did the fuck? Did you know that your balls are scratch and sniff? What do you think my You can't see my... Here's one hand. What do you think my other hand is? That's kind of tr rude, not going to lie. Bro. Uh, I had a, I had a very small fever yesterday and I was like, I have like PTSD from how sick I got this year. And I was like, no, it At can't pay money, again. Wubby, I cast ossify on your commander to turn it into a colorless artifact with tap to sacrifice this permanent at an amount of colorless mana equal to this permanence converted mana cost. It loses all other types and abilities. Okay. I'll tap and sack it right now and I'll return it to my command zone then. So how about that? How about that? All right. Um, Oh, I want to talk about this. I saw this on the subreddit. This, this is apparently important. So uh, <clears throat> Twitch is once again increasing the price of subscriptions. Uh, but hold on. Speaking of subscriptions, thank you to Nutmore <laughs> and Lijink. And thank you to uh, Chris. Uh, but by the way, okay, so people seem to be confused by this, especially because the, the way this is... Uh, I don't know. People just read headlines and they don't read further. So I'm going to, I'm going to, you're worth it. I don't need to be worth it. Okay, guys, listen, I'm going to help you out here. Uh, they're increasing the prices to $7.99 starting October 1st, but don't worry. It's on mobile only. So let me explain chat. If you're, and don't just apply this to my stream, take this everywhere. Stop doing subscriptions on anything on mobile. Do everything from desktop. You need to, you need, it will be cheaper. You sick, bro. Oh, look at this. We got a, We got our very own Sherlock in chat. Hello, discombobulate. Oh, look at that. We got a Poindexter in chat. You sick, bro? Yeah, anyway, go, go. Well, if you're going to drop, run large and be relaxed fit. It is, it is uh, not as relaxed. I'll give you more specifics as we get closer. But anyway, uh, yeah, the, uh, 
the price of subs is not increased if you're not dumb. Don't subscribe on mobile. It's like even if you go use your browser on your phone if you're subscribing to someone and run it in desktop mode. Don't don't does that even work? I don't even know if it works. Well, regardless. Um it's still six bucks. What do you mean? I'm talking about there's a new increase where they're saying they're increasing it to eight bucks. Just don't subscribe on iOS. No, it doesn't work. It does work. Look at that. Three lines of text right here. It works. It doesn't work. It works. It's because of uh, the App Store taking like a cut, so Twitch is trying to counteract that. I don't know. It does work. Okay, cool. I just broke my pop socket too, so I I don't know, guys. I might kill the myself. The price of tonight. subscribing is increasing. If you want to be a real person, you need to be a tier <coughs> two sub now. Loving the ET cosplay. Really nailed the face makeup. Hi, Wubby. Out of context video. More income. Yeah. All right. Uh, I just had the realization with YouTube Premium. It's eighteen ninety nine on iOS and fourteen on desktop. Yep, dude. It like, do not subscribe to anything on your phone. It is there is cuts everywhere. I can make a link for you to use for mobile users to auto open the site on mobile browser. That's genius. You should do that. We got to do that. Damn, I got robbed, Ho little homie. You got robbed, bro. You actually got robbed. I have so much toilet paper on my desk now. It looks like I'm just like an insane chronic masturbator which is while true i don't want it to look like that while true uh so yeah just thought i'd touch on that dude let's get through this quickly this was also relevant to this was on the subreddit our favorite little weasel neon marvy d thank you for the five uh is it is the split still the same between you and twitch yeah that's what's weird right i don't actually know if twitch is if if they're eight bucks now, do I still get the same amount of money or do I get X percent of eight bucks? I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. If I get the same amount of money, that's crazy. You still get the same as desktop. If that's the case, then absolutely. Uh, you guys should never subscribe to any fuck, fuck, fuck me, right? Don't subscribe to any of your favorite streamers on mobile like just never do it you are just giving money to a multi billion trillion i don't even know how much apple's worth but you're just handing them money for zero reason <laughs> fuck google and apple for taking such a huge cut of the transaction on mobile just i think the the real thing is people need to stop giving them money then it's that simple just stop doing it now, I'm sure there are situations where you can't... My pop socket's broken, guys. Like, give me one reason to not kill myself right now, chat. This is terrible. This is terrible news. This is just... This is terrible. This is terrible news. This is just terrible news. Latinas? How big are they? GTA 6? That's so true. Someone said Carlos. That's, that's one of the kill myself reasons. <clears throat> You get a cuter one. I like it. I like the way you guys think. Also, GTA 6 is such a strong one. If that game flops, we could do like a whole like mass, like religious congregation suicide. We'll just call out a bunch of executives at Rockstar by name. <laughs> good food. Bro, good food got to be top five reasons right there. That's, that's actually one through three is good food. What's your KD right now? I'm even. <laughs> <clears throat> bro you guys I've, I've talked about this on stream a lot about how it's the hardest job and you guys know if you if you can read between the lines you know i'm joking right you know that i'm joking and it makes it funny that me in a in a going on a big ironic rant is something that this bozo will do unironically this clip is so funny because it's it's literally what i say Except he's being unironic. I'm not clip farming and I'm not doing any shit. I mean this in the, in, the, in the nicest way possible. I swear to God, all my life, all my life, I swear to God, mentally, not physically, mentally, working as a streamer is the hardest job in the world. You can't even compete, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So true, though. He's so right. Chat, he's so, chat, is this real? He's so right, though. It's harder to work, be a streamer. And you know it's true. We got people from all sides saying it. We got Hassan and Neon saying it. Hassan and Neon joining forces. He's so right. Dude. than being the Olympics. I swear to God. Hold on. That's a. That's also so true. Not even crazy. I was gonna say it's. It's not even crazy. It's just brave. You can't even compete, bro. 
It's harder to work, be a streamer than be in the Olympics. I swear to God. He's so, so real, dude. God, I'm Finally. Like, you guys understand. The stress, trying to top yourself, trying to meet the standards, trying to think of content. It's, I swear to God, you can say clip for me, you can say, I don't give a fuck, you can say what you want, I swear to God, you don't understand, because you're not a streamer, you don't get it, bro. This is the hardest shit in the world, you could ask any streamer, you could ask anyone. This is a very hard job, and I'm so... Those are different, those are different statements, though, right? Saying it's a hard job versus it's <laughs> harder than being an Olympian is, is kind of crazy. The stress of trying to be literally the best athlete in the world, it's just not comparable. Well, it's simply not. And I've seen some of these olympic athletes so they got crazy asses on them and you know that's not really relevant but it, it it's it's what i've been seeing you know what i mean I'm grateful to be here but it's hard it's hard as fuck and it's it's really really stressful bro and i would i'm not like how stressed can you actually be with like a six pack you know what i mean he did say mentally and not physically i would like to believe that being an olympian is both mentally and physically some of the most intense like even if it's it's maybe in a similar way right like it, it, tr putting pressure on yourself it's got to be some of the most pressure a human being could possibly put on themselves it's just you know I what guess being My, a cop is mentally easy then <clears throat> oh yeah you shoot who you want you have a little color swatch thing and it just shoot don't shoot it's so being a cop is just it's so easy bro um no but uh uh, he's uh, wrong. I would watch a ray gun stream out. True. True. Uh, they get they all get shot. What do you mean? Yeah, and you get time off. You get paid leave. What do you mean? What's the plan for Friday? We'll get to that, guys. We'll get I don't have much so originally the plan for today was to pick a game and then play the game, but I'm not gonna start a game play through feeling like this. I an I, Olympian or a US soldier is that you don't have to door dash when work ends. Damn. Damn. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, like, I think that the real take that I'll give on this, even though nobody, it's not, I mean, we all feel the same way. It, it, streaming can be hard, but you lose in the comparison. You should, you really shouldn't compare because the second you start comparing, you look like a clown. Just streaming can be the easiest job. Sometimes it is. Sometimes streaming can be hard. There are hard aspects to streaming. But the second you start comparing it, you're just, it's 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 so stupid. Why is Wubby huddled and quiet? Well, because I came out. I'm a gay man. I'm a gay man, and it had it has taken a toll. I think God smited me. That's what happened. Yeah, I'm a gay man. It takes effort and consistency. I think there is a. I think there's a balance. Uh, streamers will have to find eventually, and he maybe he's dealing with that now. Of trying to constantly top yourself can be very stressful and and the feeling of like you know i don't know i'm sure that can become a lot especially he's in that he's neon's in that type of content where it's not really personality driven it's virality driven so right now we're sitting here okay i got thousands of people just watching a sick person barely keep a stream going and that's because this is more personality driven. You don't care what I'm doing. You're just here to hang out with neon. Nobody, nobody wants to hang out with neon. They're there to see what he's doing. How's he going to break the fucking law today? What, what crazy situation is he going to get into? And, and I could understand why that would be a stressful position to be in because, um, if you're not doing something crazy and you're noticing people are not showing up anymore, it's going to be, I hate clip farming. Yeah. I think, I mean, most streamers are are did that at one point, I feel like. <laughs> cough if you're sick. <laughs> that was the gayest cough. Boogie down. Sounds like a sad existence. It's got to be tiring. It's got to be. You see the Will Neff clip on the subreddit? I did not. But if it's not of his bulge, do I need to watch it? Um, I'm doing a test. I'll just tell you right now. I'm <coughs> <coughs> wow, you got me. <laughs> I'm doing a test run with Peanut. I'm just gonna say it. Wait, is this really him with a boner? I love seeing dudes with rock hard penises. Let me see. You know what's funny? I'm gonna tell you guys something, a little BTS. I was invited to Camp Canute for this. Hey Wubby, I this. eat 42 to 84 ounces of cottage cheese a day.
and yeah. I've not been sick for months. Okay. You should try this to remain healthy. If it doesn't work, the resulting catastrophic bowel movements will at least distract you from your cold. No, 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 no. Have you that's, seen my husband's not crazy. gay? No. Hey, Wubby, I'm loving the Virgin Mary cosplay. Any chance we could get a Joseph and Jesus cosplay next? <laughs> anyway, uh, I was invited to this Camp Canute, the one that's happening right now. I was invited by uh, Mr. Kiff himself. Um, and I didn't want to end up going to... Uh, What's it called? Austin for a whole month. So I was like, uh, I wasn't ready. I'm not, I, at some point I do want to do a camp canoe, but at this point I just wasn't ready. I just don't want to be that vulnerable. I don't know, with the audience. If you don't know what it is, it's like a month long workout, uh, yada yada thing. And uh, the funny thing is, I'm really glad I turned it down because the day after it started, I got sick. So if I would have showed up to it, agreed, did all this promo, hey guys, I'm going to be on Camp Canute, day one, I'd be like, hey, I'm sick, I'm out, and now everyone thinks I'm just faking it. So low-key, thank fuck. Now that being said, I do want to do Camp Canute. Uh, it's, it's, You're really doing it. Ooh, really him, bro, or so funny today. I don't get it, man. What, 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 what? I don't even get it. What, what, what? Um, it would have been on brand. I caught something and was sick for 10 days. I f yeah, TT, you were really sick recently. <clears throat> I'm not gay, but when I see bulges, I get horny and jerk off. And there's nothing gay about that. It's gay if you think it's gay. And that, Anyway, so uh, I do want to do Camp Canute. I do. Uh, I'm happy I said no this time, though. Let's see this guy's dick. Man, just focus on the O face. What? The O face. No breaks. Just push. <sighs> Holy shit. He got that retard dick, that's for sure. And I mean that with peace and love. That is incredible, bro. God take, God give, God, give, God take, you know what I'm saying? Why are people saying TOS? I swear to God, it's always, it's, why are people, what? Why, Wubby, what do you mean? Play it back, I missed it, I'm gonna. But I can't pause it, we have to watch the whole clip. I can't pause it, we have to watch the whole clip. The O face. No breaks, just push. And up. Uh, Damn. Damn. Just do a little hold it on top for next time. Just hold it on top for next time. I couldn't agree more. Damn. Why they zoom in like that? What do you mean, why? What a stupid question. Why? Because we're all watching it. He had a honey pack? What's a honey <laughs> fit? Wubby is straight out of the and, uh, and we just saw the oh. sandworm. Yeah. This is actually, this is a, from the new Dune movie that's coming out. Lisan Al Gaib, indeed. God damn, you know what I'm saying? Doing three is looking crazy. I gotta get this off the screen. I'm probably gonna get banned. It's just staring at me. I'm staring back. <laughs> Holy shit, that dick is strong. Boner honey? What is boner? Oh, we talked about this. Honey packs. Wait, what? Honey packs are this new TikTok thing. You slurp them up and they make you mad horny. Here's the will clip. Yeah, yeah, we talked about that. I thought, I don't, don't let me forget. I got to tell you about what Peanut's doing. We're putting Peanut through a trial. Will Neff said he's down to half suit. This is huge. Hold on. This is huge. What the fuck is this? What? Top of yourself did... is hard. Most people have to have some ribs removed. Yeah, no, I, I, I have too much in the way of me being able to suck my own dick. And let me be clear on that. Too much in the way is both a positive and a negative thing. Too much in the way positive belly would need to remove the belly negative would need to take the belly remove and pack on a few inches if i could also have a few more vertebrae will turned his clips on, off on twitch that is so genius i so i agree with that 100 percent. looks like we have the workaround baby is well be taking friday off no intentions of taking friday off and if my if my sickness continues the way it's going i should be totally okay by friday this is day two, and I'm already feeling better than day one. So, day one, yesterday I had a mild fever. Today I have nothing. I woke up with nothing, just felt just sick. Just, like, don't want to be on stream. Don't want to talk for four fucking hours. <clears throat> um, but hold on. Let's see what Will has to say. This leads perfectly into the next story. What's this? Hold on. Here's the game. Kay. We send Will Neff on a date. The person he's going on the date with should not know who he is and does not know the truth.
I love that I'm in the Connor outfit for this. <laughs> True nature of the show we're filming. On that date, Will Neff will be wearing a suit, but the back of the suit is completely <laughs> missing. If he can get through the entire date. I love that he's already into it. Without his date figuring it out, Will Neff wins a cash prize of like 10K. <laughs> what in the world? War- okay, I'll do it. Wobby is on my exact wavelength of just doing Japanese game show. Yes, baby. Yeah. Okay, so here's what, here's, this is actually, per- I had not seen this clip yet, but this is perfect. I, <clears throat> so as you guys know, my eyes are bigger than my stomach. Not literally. In fact, if you were to measure them, these are like maybe less than an inch. And my stomach is probably 40 inches around. I, I'm very overweight. Um, especially when I'm eating, I, I, my eyes are not bigger than my stomach. I can eat everything. You have to pull me away. Uh, and I've, I've been dealing with it. It's, it's been, um, it's a, it's a lifelong, str- I think it stems from. The eyes have it. Um, uh, you know, growing up and being more focused on what we're going to eat as far as filling our tummies as opposed to what's the healthiest thing to eat you know and and when i have kids in the future hopefully my goal is to teach them so that when they're older they'll look at goldfish as a problem and not as something that you know you can just snack on throughout the day because even i have gummy worms on my desk and I, i leave them here but i tell myself i can't eat them it's like a torture or uh Anyway, I know that <laughs> I know that sometimes with <laughs> I, <laughs> I know that sometimes um, <clears throat> my with my content, my eyes are bigger than my stomach, meaning uh, well, not literally. No, OK, uh, meaning that we like to talk about content and get into the plannings of content. And then when it comes time to do it, uh, I could give a million reasons why, but it just doesn't get done. So I'm attempting to break the cycle here. Pre-stream, uh, I reached out. So Peanut, I'll just, you know what, Peanut, can I talk about this fully transparently? Can I, like, be fully transparent? He's sick. He's talking like a normal person now. I've always wanted to be an Asian woman who owns a laundromat. I remember my dad used to get, I used to go with my dad to get his dry cleaning done. He would get his, he would get his pants pressed at a, at a laundromat. And they were so comically Asian that I, I couldn't even possibly tell you how they sounded without me being racist. And I loved them. It was it, it smelled nice in there. My dad would always slip them a little extra 10. We were broke, but he would he would tip very well. Um, Peanut said, nah. All right, Peanut said, don't talk about this. So Peanut, I want everyone to know that Peanut is a fucking little bitch. And I don't respect him. I don't respect anything about him. Hey, Big Cat, tonight is the perfect night to watch the Advice for Time Traveling to Medieval Europe video. You never know when you'll be flung back to Medieval Europe. Better safe than sorry. Based, Feel better. You're not, wrong. you're not wrong. A Chinese no. laundromat? I don't know what ease it was. I have no clue. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Could have been Vietnamese. Could have been definitely not Japanese. Yeah, could have been Koreanese. Jazz Mac, thank you for the five, baby. I appreciate you. <clears throat> so I'll, I guess I'll leave out part of it. But anyway, I reached out to Peanut, and I said, Peanut, I'm gonna put you on a trial. Okay. And I said, Here's what I want from you. This is the truth. I reached out to him today. Jazz Mac, did I already thank you? Ban that guy. He get, he confused me. Um, I said, I said, Peanut. Uh, you have access to my money, you have access to my mouth, you have access to my body, you have access to my soul. Let me just read you the DM, because I actually don't know what I fucking said. And I'm having a hard time focusing because I'm sick. Uh, I said to him, I said, I said, here's what I said. I said, gay ass Austin. <laughs> Wait, no. Okay. I said, I want you to make the half suit show happen. All right. And he said, cool. We can hop on a call. And I said, no. I'm sick. I don't want to get on a call. So in an attempt chat, this is what I'm, why am I telling you this? In an attempt to actually make this happen with Will, and now we can blame Peanut if it doesn't happen. This is such a great way. I can, I can not only shy away any responsibility, but if it doesn't happen, we can all just, everyone can just blame Peanut. Because Peanut's like, I want to work on this. I'm like, okay, 
That's awesome. I love that. Thanks, man. Yep. Yep. So Peanut is going to take on the role of a producer for this for this show, this one-off thing. And if it doesn't happen, I want you to know something, chat. It's because Peanut didn't make it happen. I'm giving him access. He needs to come to me with a bill, a time, a date. I want him to organize. Will coming to San Diego. I want him to do it all. <clears throat> producer Peanut. Yep. Yep. Budget. Here's what I've always said for budgets. Thank you, Jazz Mac, for the five. Is that a new one, or am I really tripping up here? Thank you. Time him out. Um, here's what I've always said for budget. This is how I was for the price of scuffed as well. I said, I, here's what I always say. Here's what I said. I said this. Here's what I always say. When I get asked for budgets for shows, here's what I always say. Is chat with me today? Am I alone? Am I even live? Here's what I always say for budgets. Here's what I always say for budgets. I always say this. Here's what I always say. I say this. I say, if you give me a price... I'm going to get it in my head that it should look like this or that. And then I'll tell you, right? So if you come to me and you go, the show's going to cost 10 grand. I go, okay, for 10 grand, it needs to look like this. And if you go, no, 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 for that, it's going to be this expensive. That's how I determine prices of shit. Does that make sense? Like when we did Price of Scuffed, he was like, okay, six figures. I'm like, okay, for six figures, it better look like this then. You know what I mean? <laughs> Number one, best price. Smart, not really making sense, Webby. Yeah, we know you're autistic. All right. Chat, let's unified. Chat, let's unified and say it's all in his head. Brother, are you are you are you retarded? Chat, let's unified. Let's do this thing in the past. Chat, let's unified and say it's all in his head. Okay, I'm going to check out your channel Minotaur Gaming. Let's see what you got. Let's see how much of a gamer you really are. You can't have gaming in the name and not have streamed in the last three years. So here we go. I'm on your channel. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You streamed four hours ago. Oh, my God. This is happening. Past broadcast. Oh, my God. The stream is starting. This is so hype. I'm actually so proud of you that you're an actual streamer. This is so huge. Oh, and you've crashed my Firefox. I cannot click on anything. You've crashed everything. Your stream broke everything. Oh, wait. Yep, it's still broken. I'm trapped. Hold on. This is horrific. Uh-oh. This page is slowing down Firefox. Stop the page. Yes. It's broken. Everything's broken. <coughs> oh, here we go. This stream is intended only for certain audiences. Uh-oh. Do you think I'm in that audience? Minotaur Gaming, let's see it. What do you got for us? There we go. Alright, we're gonna continue off from where we last left off. Whoa! Whoa! Oh shit. Oh shit. We were on the beach. Uh, I think we had to find some type of like upgradable material or something. I don't know. I wow. wish Webby's stream oh, would like tie that. up my resources and peg my hardware. <laughs> I wish I could too, baby. This is the type of streamer I wish I was, for the record. Faceless, just VTuber. I go live, I play Tomb Raider. My whole day is planned out. I'm chilling. We just get a vibe for the next four and a half hours. That's the dream right there. Too late. You know, I gotta say, I'm 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 pleasantly surprised. This is a this is a Minotaur and chat. All they have done this entire stream is game. I have nothing bad to say about them. I, they got me. Do a face reveal. Go live right now with a face reveal. They were last live thirty minutes ago. Bro, they ended stream to watch this. Thank you. You win this round. No, you got me. That was good. I mean, listen. I hope you keep keeping up the good work that you're doing because you're doing a lot of good work. Non-refrigerated snack vending machine, $5,199. Uh, potential chill, quick stream what? game segment to fill time on the subreddit, like putting on a movie as a substitute. Binky Stinky. What? What? 
sub to him. We actually just increased the price, and uh, we're trying to save, so. Ew, I don't like Sheebs. You guys see Sheebs on the subreddit? Ew. Ew, I don't like Sheebs. She kind of she kind of hot though. <clears throat> it's gonna come down to when she speaks. You know what I mean? If 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 this if this creature talks and it's like it just makes like a growling noise, I don't be clear. I'm not making fun of Keebs here. I'm making fun of this thing that doesn't exist. This is not a real person. This is Sheebs. Um. Bag the face? No, see, I I personally believe the eyes are beautiful. I, <laughs> New I, Snow White. I I believe the eyes are beautiful. Creature is wild. This is not Keebs. This is this this is not someone that exists. This is a creature. This is not Keebs. Why is creature a what? This is not Keebs. <laughs> is the dog in her racist too? <laughs> I hope. Uh, okay. Next. the choker she was beautiful honestly uh, all right guys let's we're gonna put it to a vote we have a new game to pick because we are going to be starting a new uh oh i have a sneeze coming that's not good uh oh um we need to pick a new game because we're playing we're gonna be starting a new game playthrough because chat voted for that and i went through the subreddit <laughs> and there was a really good thread of people um uh, discussing which game. So I pulled the top answers from all those. Oh, Yosemite. Yem, Yosemite. Thank you, Yosemite. I appreciate it. Here are our game options. All right. Um, oh, God. Where did it go? Oh, God. TTS is too loud again. No, it's not. All right. Can I get a mod to make a poll? That would be very helpful if a mod made a made a poll. You promised us Pikmin 4. I did no such thing. Got it. All right, so the options for chat are I'm giving them five options. Okay. Your options are LA Noir, Pikmin 2, Wolf Among Us, The Walking Dead and heavy rain la noir is a crime based rock star game where you're trying to the one where you tell people are lying or not pikmin 2 is a classic wolf among us is a telltale decision making game I'd, i've never played any of these the walking dead game is another decision game just like uh the ones we've been playing suppose this was the highest rated one the walking dead one and heavy rain is an old decision game Sean! I can't do it. Sean! So those are your options, chat. And I need you guys to vote. Every single vote matters in this one, boys. This is a big one. This is a big one. Every single vote matters. I voted for The Walking Dead. That's what I voted for, just to tell you. That's the one I want to play the most. Sean! <clears throat> uh, have you played any of them? Nope. My Pikmin 2 I've played, obviously. Um, everyone wanted me to do a Pikmin game, so I put that in there. Uh, current results, uh, 41% L.A. Noir and 29% The Walking Dead. The least one is The Wolf Among Us. Womp womp. All right, with the, I will say, that's far enough ahead. Let's do a new poll with just L.A. Noir and The Walking Dead. L.A. Noir is just too long. Oh, yeah. What is it? L.A. Noir would be kind of boring. I do I do worry that L.A. Noir is not only way too long, but kind of boring. Well, then vote. Vote for The Walking Dead. Vote. It's like a 20-plus hour game. Yeesh. 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 L.A. Noir is so boring to watch. Yeesh. Yeesh. Then vote Walking Dead. Asterisk insert stinky pinky joke. Asterisk wishing you a quick recovery. Thanks for pushing through in a making stream. I'm not pushing through, but thank you. I'm, I've told you I'm here because uh, we had some stuff we needed to do.
Walking Dead is longer, but okay, I will say, let me let me let me defend The Walking Dead a little bit. That was the most requested game out of any. The Walking Dead was the most requested game. The most people wanted me to play it. Is will be okay? No, I got HIV AIDS. It's so fucking overrated. What do you? What do you mean? Guys, everyone's gonna hate something. We would only be doing the season one or whatever. I've played, uh, I played L.A. Noir when I was a child. L.A. Noir was one of the first M-rated games I got. All right, so here's what we'll do. The Walking Dead one. I'm going to give you guys till Friday. Friday stream. Uh, I'm going to give you guys till Friday stream. If if you guys can't get excited and and be down for The Walking Dead, then the people who voted for us to watch a show will win and we will not play a game and we will watch a show instead for this season. All right? We will we will watch a show if that's the case. Um <clears throat> so if, if if I find that we're playing it and people are not into it, then that's what we'll end up doing. I'm sweating now. Now I'm starting to sweat in this thing. <coughs> Sekiro, but with crowd control? What would that do? Thirty-two. Well, why would that be interesting at all? Wubby seven, wubby seven, wubby seven. Thank you. Kisses. Uh... Stinky binky wubby wubby woo. New season of Survivor, maybe? I love Survivor. It would be either Survivor or uh, the Love on the Spectrum show. Hall of Specific Game versus a show. Papa, Sekiro, Papa, but naked. Papa. April, can you not stream so... Friday? I gotta focus on TWW. Low What's JK? TWW? PB. I don't know what that is. I will be just started my Thanks master's degree. And, many and this week is come. hard. I'm thankful love for you, man. Jack. Hey, I'm thankful Say that you're going to be a master. That's I crazy. I eat four types of cottage cheese a day. Sometimes eight. I have done so for four years. I will not be stopped. Cottage cheese is my religion. I don't care. Not a bon boil ego. Okay, what's this fucking thing? Three People years, keep telling me to watch my months, husband's gay. What is? I don't know what this is. What? What is this? Yeah. Oh, it's a new WoW expansion. I guess. Okay, my husband is gay. Hitting the show. Tonight, baby, we what is this? Extremes. My husband's not gay. Married man attracted to men. What the yeah. fuck? Did anyone got a link to this? <clears throat> well spent less than my husband is not gay. Where where can Smile. I where is this? It's a show where a gay where what? It's a gay couple, it's just clickbait. Let's go. Ooh. Hold on, what? Hope you're feeling better, Wubby. I mean, listen, if we were ever going to watch a show, it would be tonight when I don't want to fucking do anything. I'm just sick. Donating. Love you, Wubs. I, you listen. Months strong. Why my PP hard? Thank you. Uh, my husband is not gay. Two years sub today. I don't see it. I don't, is this supposed to be on TLC or what? I don't even know where this where is. This? One, it was a one hour TLC special. That sounds right up my alley, dude. Where can I watch it? Does anybody have a, a link? Seven. Oh, is it just on YouTube? Oh my God! Hi, streamer. This is not Maybe a one-hour TLC special. It's just inside out me fall shirts. <clears throat> this is not. This is not a one-hour special. The Christian arrest. Sicky Bicky, Sicky Bicky. My two doctor dads say the prognosis isn't good. Sicky Bicky. I don't understand. Where is this footage? Where Where is this footage? Where can I find this? My husband's not gay. Watch now. Where Where do I watch this? TV guide? What the fuck is this? Airings? <clears throat> Resurfaced clips of my husband's not gay go viral? Okay, wait. So it's like not released? 
The Mummy 2. Hey guys, just so you know, The Mummy 2 is currently in the works. We are currently working on getting The Mummy 2 ready to go. So that's that's currently cooking right now. Uh, okay, what? here's a clip from it. This is crazy. Hey! Hey, guys. Hello. How are you guys? You? Jeff and I are meeting Prent and Megan for an early dinner tonight. Whenever we get together, you never know where those conversations may go. That's a gay man. A hundred percent. That's a gay man. I don't know. I, something about his eyes and his lips. He's got gay-ass lips. I want to hear your French <clears throat> pronunciation oh, on geez. the menu. Brother. Oh, critique. I've never seen a man wear this pattern, too, and be straight. That's a gay man. Thank you. Um, I'm not doing that. Tuna you know melt. Gruyere. Very good. Thank you. The tuna niçoise. 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 Of course. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to boulangerie. Ooh. Boulangerie? <laughs> Don't laugh. It's not that funny. <laughs> yes, it is. It's Can I get French. you all an appetizer to start? You know, your hummus looked good. Your hummus plate. It's excellent. Yes. Great. We'll try it. OK. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So did you guys notice anything? <laughs> He's a very good looking guy. What the fuck? We have a very open relationship. And this is just one more way we try to be open. And I found it's more freeing to just acknowledge, yeah, that is a beautiful man. I'd say you need a little more of the masculine butch. You uh -huh. need more of the all-American guy. Mm. That's your type. Well, yeah, sure. The, what, is the, what, is, what is this show? I, I don't understand the show. I don't understand the premise. I don't understand anything. That's it. That was the whole clip. <clears throat> Check DMs. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Watch Tia. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. TLC presents season one, episode one, my crazy obsession. Wubby, are you going to play Black Myth Wukong, a.k.a. Monkey Souls? Okay, calling it Black Myth Wukong just sounds, it sounds, it's got to be racist. Black Myth Wukong. <clears throat> that sounds super racist. That's the name. I'm just saying, oh, episode 19. Okay, guys, we thanks to Cyan, we found the episode. Uh, it's named that. Okay, from my perspective... Both having... couples look the same. We sure this isn't some I'd bang my clone stuff? So this is an hour episode. Would you want to just watch it, chat? Do you want to just fucking send it? China don't care. Uh, nah, if you think that, that makes you racist. Well, we can get ahead of this now. I'm very racist, so you're probably right. Um, that being said, I've heard some cursory things about this new uh, Black Kang. What is it called? I don't know what it's called, but uh, I wasn't gonna get it. Um, but, uh, uh, I've been hearing more and more good stuff about it. I've been waiting for this moment, please. Let's save it. Go get some rest. Listen, man, here's what I'm going to say. I'm never going to watch this shit on a normal stream. I'm never going to watch this on a normal stream. So it's, it's this or we just, or nothing. You know what I mean? And if I hate it, I can just dump it immediately. You know what I mean? <clears throat> This program solely represents the views of the individuals featured. Okay. If it's boring, I'm just gonna dump it. We'll see. There's a group of Mormons who live their lives a little differently. Don't all Mormons do that? I've known one Mormon my whole life. It was a girl, okay? And um, I say this with peace and love, but if you're still like a Mormon, like in, in present day, wait, cutie's Mormon? Chat, I can't wait to play China Myth with Shang. Was. Oh. Okay, people saying huge tits. You know what's funny about this? She actually did have humongous titties. <laughs> now she was a Mormon. I don't I don't know her anymore. Um, so I don't know if she got out of the hood. But um uh these people should not be able to vote, bro. They're they're this is um this shit is crazy, dude. <clears throat> Uh, it is, it is like, here's the thing, right? There's a lot they're not telling you. 
And then when you get to know one who's a homie and they start telling you shit, it's like, hold the fuck on. You don't really believe this shit, right? It's cr it's crazy, bro. It is insane. Are any anyone in my chat Mormon? Genuinely, I'm curious. Anyone in my chat Mormon? <laughs> Currently practicing. Yeah, we all got our fucking Kolob planet. We're all going to blast off to Kolob. And um, there's no black people, but Kolob is all based. No, I wish. I don't think there's probably a single Mormon in this chat. Real fucking ironic that they're called Mormon. Because if you're a man, you get more women. <clears throat> That's a, that, there was a good joke somewhere in there. You didn't, you, you're not quite ex-Mormon. Oh, tons of ex-Mormon. I'm not surprised if so many of you are ex-Mormon, but... No, I don't think anyone currently. I remember when we raised you Mormon. Just kidding. Sorry you're sick, and I hope you feel better. I'm a uh, Pepto Pallet on the porch. <laughs> the fuck? I engaged to a Mormon whose family is still in the temple. Ew. Does she got huge tits? We, we do go. love each other very much. We are best friends. No, I wouldn't change anything about him. There's no marriage that is perfect. Ours isn't. But with our faith in God, we believe we can overcome anything. I like to say I've chosen an Unle Oh, unless you're like a killer ice skater, it's got to be the most emasculating movement type as a man. Unless you're like a crazy good ice figure skater or anything, moving on skates as a man is just soy energy. Alternative to an alternative lifestyle. I'm attracted to my wife, for sure. And I'm definitely... Hockey too. No, hockey work. If you're good on skates, you look like a badass. If you're a little awkward, it's probably the worst way to move. Hockey's too. Hockey too. Attracted to men too. He's a good looking guy for sure. Well, I'm interested in men. I'm just not interested in men. That's clear. So are they gay or not? And I get a little defensive when somebody calls my husband gay. The whole act is against the teachings of the gospel. I don't think people understand this. You're That's... attracted to men, but you're going on a date with a girl. I want to marry a woman, but I don't know how to work out these feelings. I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm attracted to men. This is so dumb. I'm going to give this like five minutes. This is so stupid. It's also so much easier if you're just not Mormon to like deal with this. You know what I mean? <clears throat> hey, Nate, lunch is ready. Can you come? You want some, Mommy? Yeah. My name's Jeff. And I'm Tanya. We've been married about nine years. We've got one delightful son. Damn. And I guess one of the most unique things about our relationship is I experience SSA, or same-sex attraction. Not gay. What a fucking, what a mental gymnastic. Damn. This is some Olympics-level gymnastics. I'm an SSA. Holy shit. SSA. Yo, well, these guys are person. fucking gay. How about that? Yeah. Cope. A beautiful man walking down the street or a beautiful woman walking down the street. I'll notice the beautiful man nine times out of ten. So it's somebody that is attracted to the same sex but wants to be in a heterosexual relationship. We're Latter-day Saints or Mormon. And Holy the only shit. acceptable expression of sexuality and romantic feelings is within a marriage between a man and a woman. All right, what does it say? 10 E. When Jeff told me about- Okay, this kid's like cold sore is so distracting. I, I know it's a child, I need to be nice, but this kid's probably My only experience now. with Mormons is that they tried to convert me when I had a kippa on. A kippa? What is that? Is it, uh, do you wear the kippa on days that you don't wear the, the give, the give, uh, there's a joke there. Somebody help me out here. I, 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 you know, I'm just playing a show. His same-sex attraction, it was definitely the worst time in our relationship. We got home to his Look place. Look at that shiner, dude. I think you gave the kid some gay, too. And I thought, oh, he's finally going to say, I love you. And instead he said, I think you need to know that I'm attracted to men. What and the fuck? And I was crushed. Uh, yeah. I thought he was. I fucking hate gay people. Ugh telling me I'm with her I'm with her I'm done with this relationship but I already knew I loved him I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with him so he sent me home with books and I was devastated and I he had pamphlets bro this is crazy week. 
I was horrible to him. Really? I had so many questions to ask him because I didn't know much about this topic. So I didn't know what I was facing. I didn't know that I like a girl men. Could Here's some guy homework. that was attracted to men. <laughs> Don't let him touch that kid. <laughs> Don't let him get too close to that kid, lady. I know lots of other He's of my a gay friends man. <laughs> in these same type of marriages that are in good relationships and none of us feel oppressed. We've chosen to be here. Nate, you ready? How many dicks do you have to suck to find out if you're gay or not? Asking for a Mormon friend. You, you keep going. You just keep going. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. That man's gay. One, two, three. <laughs> My name is Fred. My name is Megan. No, I got you! Awesome. Pratt and I have been married for eight years. We met when we were 15. I was always interested in him, but... Oh my god, we're, we're older than these fucking people now. God, remember when we would watch reality TV and we're all younger than everybody on TV? And we're like, oh, reality TV is about adults. Now we're old. They're 23, bro. Ugh. The feelings weren't reciprocal for... Obvious reasons. <laughs> Bro, look at him. Over that man's a long dick. period of on and off again dating, it finally came down to him telling me of his same sex attraction. Can I throw Annie up in the air? <laughs> no. Growing up, I that thought a for a long time that I was gay. I thought that these feelings defined me. <gasps> I didn't ever. My question for them immediately is why aren't they gay? What, what how this is sad oh it's 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 horrific why aren't they gay I expect to get married i wanted I to but i didn't think i was gonna be able to get married and have children and and live the life that i'm now living you know what's fucked up I, I gay like men I'm are getting more pussy lottery. than me like, <laughs> these her? guys are all i have relationships <laughs> with women and sex the with men ice tea has news for them that means you're kind gay of the first thing that goes through every woman's mind will he be attracted her, her glasses are so teeny to me at the same time though it was well at least he doesn't have anybody else to compare me to i don't know how gay men see vaginas i don't but i think the closest as a man who you know where my boys in chat who like vaginas as a man who enjoys a vagina from time to time i imagine a fully gay man views a vagina the same way i see face huggers in alien when they come right for the camera and it's like and i'm like it looks a little vaginal but i'm it's super gross to me you know what i mean here let me i'm a while well, i i'm gonna pull that up <laughs> ready for work oh yeah love you love you too there have been periods in our marriage where i knew that the attraction wasn't there i love you i love you too but Thankfully, we've moved beyond that. Oh, that's good. Thank you. This is vile. I'm about to show you. It's This is actually... I'm kind of mad at myself. I got that, that GPA that ginger person attraction. That does not mean I am a ginger Be sexual. I just find them little gingers to be kind of cute. Okay. This is crazy because I think this is just a vagina. We As a queer man, the way these people avoid the truth is gay saying, AF. Hey, Lily. Your dad thinks men is cute. These women got to be at the top of <laughs> big clips so the guy can pretend. From her. It's going to be like, am I going to get banned for this? Drive safely. Bye. Ridley Bye. Scott was Flash on some shit. Uh, flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, this, I could replace it? this Brownies? with a vagina my and you guys Tara. would not be able to tell my name is Curtis. We've been married for 20 years. And about four years ago, Curtis came to me one morning and told me that he had same-sex attraction. This is crazy. I dude. really had not talked to anyone before in my life about As someone too it familiar with to Mormons, point, um, this is much more common than you would think. They don't see the attraction as a sin, but the acts think as sins, at that point usually they just don't talk about it. He explained to me at that time the difference between having these feelings and not wanting to act on them. It was confusing yeah, and I didn't like know who condition. to talk to at the I time. Know, it's so but funny. I knew that there was a way for us to work through it. I knew he still loved me. I, st I knew he always loved me. If someone can experience sexual attraction towards both women and men. I was almost men, one of these guys. I'm so glad I accepted myself for who I am as a fucking gay man. Oh, I thought you were saying I'm glad else. I got out. It wasn't for me, man. This, this is now the second person with a weird lip sore thing. What's going on? Where's the kid now? This guy. I would look into if they've been spending time together. In mainstream America, they're considered bisexual. But you don't identify with that word. 
I don't necessarily, and if you look at most of the studies that have been done about sexuality, they'll show studies. you that sexuality is fluid, it changes. But ultimately, when it comes to our faith and our belief, this guy some chefs, what matters dude. is how we act. <laughs> Have I made mistakes in our marriage? I have. But with my belief in God, all things that I struggle with, if I turn to him. This dude fucked a guy while they were married. Have I made mistakes in my marriage? Yes, I have. Can be for my good. This dude fucked a man. We need to get out the Books of Mormon. I think there's some in the cupboard over there. Our spiritual beliefs are very important to us, which is why we frequently find Damn. time to pray with our friends. Come on in. It's hey. Jeff and Tanya. Good to see ya. Oh, How's it going? They're congregating. In Salt Lake City, there is a pretty tight knit SSA community. The homos are but congregating. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Maybe God. But not everybody we hang out with is attracted to men. This is Rob. Hey, Rob. Rob, this is Jeff and Tanya and Pratt and Megan. Rob does not. He does not like men. You could tell the way he walked in that room. The average LDS church member is like my friend Rob, who's straight. But we don't discriminate against straight people in our prayer group. Oh, we preach of Christ, woke. we prophesy of Christ, and we write according to our prophecies that our children may know to what source they may look to for a remission of their sin. I love that scripture. That I beautiful. like that it talks about us, um, you know, teaching our children and passing on our faith and letting them know where we stand and what we believe. If it was accepted to be <laughs> a homosexual in the church, would I be gay? Um, or would I live that lifestyle? Maybe eight or nine years ago, 10 years ago, the answer would be yes. Uh, <clears throat> today, no. I guess you've clued Rob in on what we're experiencing here yes. and what we're about. Yeah. When Curtis first told me about his SSA, the first thought I had was for his wife, how, how would it affect his relationship with Tara? Because you know, a lot of families, they, they fall apart when they're faced with struggles like this. There's a lot of SSA in Argentina. Did I tell you that? No. Yeah, that's a big problem down there too. Ooh, what do you mean God. by uh, SSA being a problem? Well, the whole act is against right. the teachings mm -hmm. of the gospel. In the Mormon faith, we do not practice homosexuality. See, we believe in procreating and making... Wow, who needs to practice? I, I'm an expert. How big you think their prayer beads are? Making children mm -hmm. and, and living well, the gospel. It's been five minutes. I can't, I, I'm still and, into it. And, I told you I had five you know, minutes of stuff. I don't like it. And woman. I think that there's so many people in our church that don't know the difference. A mouth herps is very common with Mormons because they will make out with anyone. They call them non-committal makeouts. Are you serious though? Because that guy also had some weird mouth stuff going on, I noticed. Style and having the same sex attraction. What the LDS church teaches is that behavior is a choice. That choosing to act on these- Rob about to open Pandora's big gay box. Uh, having the feelings, <laughs> not so much. The line is a black and white line when it comes to being married in the eyes of God and then staying committed. It would make no difference whether Pret was going and having inappropriate relationships this whole with a man thing is just or if I was backwards. going and having inappropriate relations <laughs> with a man. I feel frustrated when <coughs> people don't understand what it is that Pret's going through and the choice that he has made to be married to me. And when SA people question like whether crime. he is living up to his true identity. No, I know that he has made the choice that is the most true to himself. I see you guys showing up. Oh, these guys are miserable, bro. Dude, imagine like close, hey, where are my straight guys at? Like, where are my fully straight dudes at? Imagine if you had to fuck dudes and you had to go home to a dude to fuck every single night and you had to fuck guys all the time just to fit into society. Fully straight men. That would suck so much. You got to just like go fuck a dude every day because society or like your church makes you. Oh my God. Up with your beautiful wives and you just look like regular people. That's what this me. guy's doing. He's I, like, I got to go fuck this woman. Where's the photo of the face hugger? I'm just not religious, that. so maybe I don't get it, but it's kind of a bummer. They can't just be themselves. Yeah, man. I, I know. It is a bit of a bummer. That is crazy, dude. Do not understand SSA, but um, I see people as people, 
not by their sexual orientation. Those are good straight cuts. Yep, straight oh. as a gay guy. <laughs> I had to do that, so Wubby. It's called being in the military. Not? I get a little defensive when somebody calls. All right, let's see this next. Let's see that the women meet up. Today, <clears throat> myself and some SSA um, friends. Actually, were... it's not gay. It's SSA. I don't suck dick. I just think about how cool it would be. All these people are kind of lopsided. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, peanut sniped. The dude on the right is full blown prison Mike. That is crazy. The bandana is crazy. We go play basketball, and we're gonna bring my friend. I'm the chatter whose fiance's family is still in the Mormon church. Her family is still devout, and her father has been cheating on her mom since my fiance was a teenager with men and women, but claims his SSA is being worked through. They are moving back to Utah to save their marriage. I'd be happy to answer Mormon questions or the shit that goes down in the LDS. But you're okay. I want to know someone who's still in. That's see, here's the thing. I, I'm more interested in people who are still in because that's where you get the most entertainment. The conversations I had with this person who was still in the church was so fascinating. The like absolute cope is insane. It's so because we there's a million things on people who were formerly in it. Talking to someone who's actually in it is crazy. Stop playing with a knife, bro. You're so right. I threw it away from my desk. I can't stop. And Tom. I threw it away. Hey, I threw it on the ground. I threw it on the ground. My name's Tom. I'm 34 years old. We're going to go play a little basketball. You mind taking the do-rag off? It's not really a thing. It's not? <laughs> That's not a do-rag. Do do we'll be sure. Uh, I, be I knew that guy was gay because <laughs> his cock tastes like shit. I played basketball in high school. Uh, I've coached basketball since I was 17. These guys don't play basketball. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I don't think I'm oh. playing basketball to make me more mad. Brother, am I too high? Because what the hell is this with a do-rag. I'm playing basketball I don't know. to feel connected to a part of masculinity I felt excluded or rejected by. I'm a bad man. Oh. I don't feel like I fit the mold of guys that are attracted to other men, other than my, my deep and abiding love for Broadway show tunes and the attraction to males. Those are the two things that... Uh, that, that are kind of gay about me. <laughs> Any of them dangerous for you? <clears throat> you one, the tall one, and gray. Uh huh. That's what I'd say. Uh -huh. When I'm out with the guys, yeah, we'll we'll look at other guys for sure. What's the danger score? Uh, the danger scale is a way to bring out some of the inner feelings and figure out, oh, okay, that is attractive to me, and I didn't. Okay, this is. I'm pretty sure crazy. the straight gay is in the group to babysit and make sure nobody forgets being gay is bad. Bro, this is crazy. I didn't even realize it. The danger scale goes from zero to four. A one on the danger scale is you notice, you look. A two means you looked again. A three, you'd be tempted to turn around and look again and again. A four pretty much means you're requiring restraints. Two and a half. Really? Mm -hmm. I'd go higher than that. This it's just feels dangerous. like these guys are playing gay box. chicken. Oh. Hey, your wives are here. Hello. How's it going? Oh. Sometimes. Oh, damn. The one on the far left is, 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 uh, is, uh, uh, uh good she, uh, she built different. She built different. She 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 hides it well. So our husbands are at the park playing basketball. We like to wander by and check them out along with any other eye candy that may be on the court. Wait, are they all just open? What is the are they all in open relationships? <laughs> The more I watch this, the more I feel Being bad about the wives. Can't the imagine how this impacts really them. Been helpful. Some religious men grow a beard on their chin. They're kind of Apparently Mormons marry be. theirs. I want to meet a girl and like her and say, by the way, I'm attracted to guys. And that's what my friends have done, and they've made it work. Are you seeing yeah. anyone? I see a lot of people, Tanya, everywhere I go. Are you seeing a girl? Uh... I like this guy. I'm 34 years old. I've never kissed a girl. <coughs> oh. I've never kissed a guy either, but a I've chatter. never kissed a girl. So we can set you up? If he's tall. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, I like yeah. this guy. You're sure you want us to set you up with a woman? 
Well, I'm interested <coughs> in men. I'm just not interested in men. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm, that's clear. It seems like Tom is open to being set up. Tanya and I actually did meet on a blind date. Mm -hmm. And so I think there is hope. You have somebody in mind right now? Yeah, I think we could find one. She's pretty cute. And I've got a friend of mine that I would like to set him up with. She's a little quirky herself. You all been talking about this without me? Of course. Of course. Tom needs a woman who's strong. Strong and like can you. hold her own. I think she's really cute. So I th who knows? I, I think it can work, at least for one night. How about like a dinner party? We could have everybody over. You're all going to be there for my blind date. Oh, yeah. Promise me you'll make it as awkward as possible, and I'll and I'll come. Come on, this we is can. us. This is gonna be great. <laughs> it is so awkward. He needs a sturdy girl. Good yeah. Morning. Good morning. Dude, Are you ready? I learned about horses recently. I learned my ass is out. Hold on. I learned about horses. They got they. It's sad. I feel bad for them. Reins go in their mouth. And it sits a metal thing across their tongue. And it can it can be more um it can hurt them. Well, it can put pressure on them so they listen to you. It's kind of sad. That's how you get them to turn and shit. <clears throat> That's what chomping at the bit means. Oh shit. Today, Man didn't know horses existed. Hey, active right. member of the church here. Put me on a call yeah. and I will answer your questions. You're not an active member. Of the if church. it ever gets to the point where friends have to set up a blind date for me with a gay person, just take me out back and old yeller me. <laughs> I'm gonna skip around. Is there something worth seeing here? Oh, here's the, here's the rest of their, uh, their meal. I gotta see this. Oh, oh, brother. I'll critique you. Um, I'm not doing that. Do you tuna know what melt. You want? Gruyere. Very good. Thank you. The tuna niçoise. 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 Of course. Hello. Welcome to Boulangerie. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's not that funny. <laughs> yes, it is. It's Can French. I get you all an appetizer to start? You know your hummus looked good. Your hummus plate. It's excellent. Great. We'll try it. Okay. Thanks. So, did you guys notice anything? He's a very good looking guy. We have a very open relationship. And this is just one more way we try to be open. And I found it's more freeing to just acknowledge, yeah, that. You guys think is a four on the danger scale? <laughs> is that why you're spamming He's four? He's a beautiful man. <laughs> I'd say you need a little more of the masculine butch. You uh -huh. need more of the all American guy. That's a 3.5, guys. Well, yeah, sure. At first in our marriage, it was awkward. <clears throat> and it was not awkward, it was just. Uh, is this okay oh, to do? Oh, oh, oh. As it happened more often, I realized how much it was frustrating to me when I would see him looking at a guy but trying to do it in a sneaky way. And so finally I just had to say, just do it. <laughs> just take a good look. I'm like, okay. Oh. Oh, not as good as I thought. <laughs> you know, not everybody's dangerous. And that's good. That's a relief. Uh, so what do you mean by dangerous, though? Uh, Threatening. Like, well, not threatening no. as much as just tempting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And no, there's so not if, a lot of temptation you know, if there. I was drugged and forgot it. I was married to you and I was in a back alley. Oh. Oh. This shit oh. is hitting more turns than my stomach oh. after a gas station burrito. Oh. 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 This line that he's about to go on is crazy, bro. I was drugged and forgot it. I was married to you, and I was in a back alley, and well, in some dark corner with romantic music. Would anything happen? That's we about to watch a scale. divorce unfold. Oh, oh. If he wants to check out a guy, it's fine if I get to check it out with him. <laughs> and as my friend Brandon says, uh, everybody's a light switch away from being beautiful. <laughs> Half the time, we don't have the same taste, so it's no. like, really? So we do have arguments. <laughs> so who would be a four on your danger scale? You, naturally. Well, hold on a oh, second. good answer, good answer. Good no, answer. that's the truth. That's so because, well, I'm a four. This is because good. we've had sex a few times, just a few. That's all. That's all. <laughs>
Yeah, women can be on the danger scale too. Obviously, Honestly, my with the way these Mormon given... women look, I might be trying to fuck dudes too. The yo Bro just described his sexual fantasy. Relax. She does have more than a few dead teeth, though. I I will be honest. She's got it's it's a minefield in that mouth. In our relationship, uh, I've never heard you talk about a woman on the danger scale. Yeah, yeah, women. Of course, women can be dangerous to me, but it's just very unusual. I mean, not a lot of women are dangerous to me, but there are some that are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so who would be the highest guy then if it's not going to be a four? Because you said you never had a four. Nine, nine, nine. Right. right so who's who the be? highest that's ever been yours? 3.95. Yeah. Do you this is what? insane. This is a crazy fucking conversation to even have. These women are praying for an orgasm and God gave them gay men. Religion fucking sucks. Oh, I, I'm blown away. I'm blown away. You gonna tell me? Well, I didn't never get his name, but he was at the gym. Oh, somebody you were seeing at the he gym. He was at the gym. I still remember. Do the wives help these homies himself. soak? He looked like Superman. Which you love Superman. It's true. Mm -hmm. I really like their danger skill. I like to be able to kind of gauge Holy where he's... shit. You'll never be able to unsee her eyebrows. Holy shit. That's crazy. Bisexual avoidance Olympics, but you are Ray Gunn. Oh no. Is that there? How is everything? Really yummy. Yeah, it's yeah. Good. yeah. It's really good. How's uh, that goat cheese salad? Uh, very tasty. Good goat cheese. One of my favorites. Yeah. Did you milk it yourself? Sometimes. <laughs> uh, can you make nice. me? <laughs> Excellent. Enjoy. Okay. Hey, thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. Sir, the Are world's coke together? supply is about All to right. run out. <laughs> I'm glad we watched that segment. That one was bad. Okay. What? What? Where? Where, where do we go from here? I want to see this all. There. There uh -oh. was something wrong. Uh oh. Oh no. Ultimate. Oh God, I skipped around and now dead baby. Only I delivered her. Oh fuck, oh God. All that because your husband's gay, that's crazy. Uh, unlucky, let's see what else we got. Who's okay. going? A couple guys you don't know. How well do you know these guys? Uh -oh. I, I don't know them very well actually. Being with someone with SSA comes with its own set of challenges. When my husband goes on these overnight trips, I've been concerned just because anything can happen. You're letting your husband go on overnight trips? Bro, he is going to get his asshole fucking ravaged. Remember the incident that happened at the house a couple years ago? There was one time a couple of guys slept over at my house. <laughs> unless. What the fuck? Bro, who has sleepovers anymore anyway, too? That's crazy. How old are you, dude? That's insane. How it was for me and Christianity, too. But instead of marriage, I was almost celibate my entire life to avoid burning forever. It fucked me up. Fuck religion. I hear you, man. Is it just me, or does it seem like the wives are kind of into the fact that their husbands are sort of gay? Um, I think that there's something going on there. They might just be coping hard. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Thank you, L Block, for the five. I appreciate it. Just say that. things got a little out of control. What do, what do you mean? What does that mean? I gotta hear him say that again. Hold on. A couple of guys slept over at my house. And let's just say things got a little out of control. I trust you, but that doesn't what? mean that some other person's not going to. Oh, what does that mean? We ran a train. We had a game. And try idea. something on you. I'm sure that there are women out there who think that I'm being completely naive. But... I love no. Jeff, and we made a commitment to each other in the eyes. Look at his face, bro. Of God, and I love him for who he is, not who he should be. I know that temptations happen. That just is a part of life, because I do trust you. Just got off work late. I what do. did I miss, big dog? That doesn't mean I trust Sick, everybody. Gay. Hi. So. Tonight is the big blind date. Hey, Mormons, if it's okay to be same-sex attracted but not to do the acts, does the church consider it gay for a woman to peg a man asking for a friend? They got a nice house, bro. Smells Look at that chicken. It looks, it, the chicken kind of, I don't know, something kind of hot about it. Great. Mm, I'm hungry. Not anymore. Tonight is the big blind date. We're setting Tom up with a friend of mine. Hello. Tom, you here? Let's get this over with. <clears throat> and there it is. Oh, nice. You look fantastic. 
Every Mormon has an undershirt. It doesn't work. Fantastic. Like Thank you. All of them These are wearing undershirts. Of you. I'm so sorry. Aww. We've been waiting to get everybody together to tell them about the new addition to our family. And this is, is it about really their magic underwear? As any. So uh, I know this night is about you, Tom, and don't I don't want to take away from. We don't want to take away from that, but uh, we just have an announcement. Uh, we want to oh. let you guys know that. Uh, oh. Megan is pregnant. I'm not gay, wow. but I experienced sexual attraction to men, and a bunch of guys slept over at my house, and we all soaked and sucked each other. And all the pain that we've been through with everything with Stella, it's definitely an exciting time to be able to move forward and to be pregnant again and to have the joy that pregnancy brings. I feel like you're left out over here. Congrats. Seeing Pret and Megan so happy uh, really hits home for me, and it reminds me that this is you what I want. You gotta get moving, Tom. You gotta I'm get moving. I'm just not sure that I'll meet a woman um, that Aww. I feel attracted to enough that I can move forward and build a life with. Oh, Tom. Enough I about want, us. I want more Tom. Let's put the focus back on Tom. Let's here. not you put ready? the focus back on Tom. Let's yeah. just. A little late for that, no? Have dinner. My biggest concern going into this date right now is if I'm gonna have any attraction to this girl. Can you uh, tell me anything about this girl? Blind date. The blind date in front of all your friends has got to be the scariest fucking thing ever. I don't know her name for starters. Her name's Emily. Okay. She oh. is Mormon. Good. We didn't want Emily to have any preconceived notions about Tom before the date. So we told her that the cameras were here to film a documentary about Mormons in Salt Lake City. Does this girl know that I am super into dudes sometimes, or? No. So it's all on you. Tom, Tom is so honest. I love Tom. <laughs> One of the worst things about dealing with SSA is telling other people about it. You don't want us to out you? I would prefer that you clowns just kind of clam up about it. I can't guarantee that we won't joke tonight. Let's Around guarantee. Her. Let's try to get a guarantee. It's Mormon here. I My dad was in these guys' it. positions oh, being married in the church 20 years ago. I bet you my potential eternal salvation that these couples aren't together anymore. Ooh, they are. If they're still, if they're Mormon, they're still together, bro. Then people don't, they don't ever split, dude. The, 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 that woman could be like legitimately thrown downstairs into a pile of razor blades. And they're like, well, I made a sacred pact with God. Uh, and he was just having a bad Tuesday. We ran out of jelly. And honestly, that was on me. Wait and see how things go. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm trying to just be more open with it. Not that it has to be something I tell people right away. I usually don't shake hands and say, sorry, that was so soft. Uh, <laughs> I'm attracted to men. God, Tom's a gay man. I feel like Tom should be honest with her, but there's a time and a place to share everything. I don't think on your first date you need to say that you are a bisexual human. I mean, if you're fully gay, you should probably not go on the date, but... Everything about yourself, and I don't think the first date is probably the ideal time to tell to her about it. everything that you struggle with. I waited struggle. too long, so don't do what I did. I waited, what, a year and a half? Wow. I waited too long, too. 16 years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After right. married, yeah. Pratt told me, and then four weeks later, we were engaged. So what I'm hearing is, if things go well tonight, I should propose. Oh, definitely. Is that what <laughs> <Yes>. you're... <laughs> You're Mormon. Hey, everybody. Hi. Hi. How are you? When Emily... She's, she's, she's cute. She's not very manly. Tom, genuinely a funny dude. I wish he was on, like, a gay podcast or some shit. You, you say that like you, you, like you know walked in the door. Is. My first impression she's was, cute. this is a cute girl. I thought she's she was cute. attractive. Um, and that's such a relief for me. Hey, so rare. Nice this to meet you. This is Tom. Hi, Hi Tom. Emily. Nice Great to meet to you, meet Tom. You. These are for you. They're so beautiful. They're flowers. Oh. They are flowers. <laughs> oh, Tom, what are you doing, bro? He said, he said, they're flowers. Thank you. You're welcome. My first impression of Tom, he was a little um, an asshole. shy. Thanks for coming. Man's like, hey, can you wear an earth tone polo the first time we have sex? <laughs> A one person. And... Do you like these people here? I love them. I'm just nervous with them here when I'm on a kind of a blind setup situation. <laughs> yeah. Things are going well, so. If... Why? Why do? Why did? Why is? Why salad? Why salad utensils always the least practical? I want you to look at what the fuck he's holding right now. That's got. It's just so frustrating. It's so. Fr ugh. 
They're always they everyone gets always fucking fun and excited with their salad utensils. It's always fucking annoying, dude. Look at this. I'm on that kind of a blind setup situation. What the fuck it he got one leaf. He got one fucking leaf with that. <sighs> Yeah. Sorry. Things are going well, so if we could just put off any SSA conversation for as long as humanly possible, that I would hate be great. That my nose is fucking running. So, uh, how do you guys all know each other? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Jeff does work. <laughs> Why are we changing the subject? No, I'm just because. How do you say we all know each other through Northern our Church. mutual admiration of men? Without Let's really say saying that. Church, we could saying... really make it serious and I could talk about it. I love dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I love dogs too. Did you grow up with dogs? Um, kind of, yeah. What kind? A wiener dog. <laughs> oh, that's a very important Oh God, that just activated him. He said, wiener? Wiener dog? Uh, yeah, four, 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 four. He's losing it now. Look at look at how he like actually activates. Mm, kind of, yeah. What kind? A wiener dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually losing it at how he <laughs> and non flashback. This is so funny. It's a very appropriate Look at him. That's the kind of dog you should get, Tom. The conversation at dinner was interesting. Uh, I can tell that there are a lot of shared experiences between the people at the table that I'm not privy to. I'm having a great time, yeah. I, I Are am, you? Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. I am. So I'm assuming that these are uh, inside Thank jokes and things like that. I do like music. Man. I do too. Elton John. Uh, I've seen Le Les Mis a couple of times. I saw Les Mis in London and we paid like a third of the price for the tickets and mm -hmm. we saw a third of the stage. <laughs> Do you even know what happens then? I had no idea. So she's like in love with this dude and he doesn't love her. Yeah. The end. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst. Tom seems like a really great guy. I would love to get to know him more one on one and I think it would be fun to see him again and just see where things could go. Ready for dessert? Yeah. Tom's yeah. funny. I like Tom. I got apple Tom pie. the kind of guy though who would who would shy away most women because he's he comes off like that. But when someone gets it, they'll be like, You're the funniest guy ever. I do like some apple pie every once in a while. Yes. Ooh. I can imagine that Tom is having huge anxiety right now because the SSA is like the elephant in the room. Please. What about our guests of honor? Thank oh, you. Just a very God. small one for me, please. If I were in Tom's shoes, there's no way I'd tell this girl on the first date about my SSA. Well, it's getting late. Um, I've got to go. Thank you for coming. Yeah. I really, really appreciate it. I'll walk yeah, you it's out. It's great to see you again. I like this girl, and I want to see her again. And so I feel like I'm. Thanks again. Oh, oh. shit, shit, and I'm girl. shit. And I want to see her. Wow, I just did something that I've never done on stream that I can. Remember. I feel like this is SSA blind data equivalent of I can fix uh, him. I do this all the time at my fucking desk when I'm watching. If I have food, I set it down on my keyboard, and then I just watch the whole video flash before my eyes as I realize I put the food down on the right arrow key again and so i feel like i want to be honest with her and i'm nervous about how she might respond thanks again you're welcome i was probably flowers back a little awkward <laughs> blind dates usually are aren't they yeah um i don't want to keep you out here too long but I'm and i don't want to blindside you because i think you're like super sweet nice girl okay plot twist she's a lesbian mormon uh that's just hot. I don't know how to. A Lorman, don't do it, bro. Don't do it. What is he doing? I'll uh, tell you this. Um... Are you kidding me? Um, I don't want to. I don't want to blindside you, but here comes the most blind, like unnecessary information I could possibly give you. Keep you out here too long. Oh my God, this is so true, Chet. This whole show is literally just the I fuck dudes meme. He's building this whole thing up to just grab her and go, I fuck dudes. I fuck dudes. It's a little chilly, but... There's, there, Media Share just made itself. There you go. Here's your edit right here. It's a little chilly. I like this girl, and I'd like to take her out again. And so I feel like I want to be honest with her and tell her about the SSA just right up front. I'm not uh, trying to blindside you, but do I you got to... I don't know how to tell you this. Um, okay. 
I deal with something called same-sex attraction. We call it SSA, but uh, I'm, I'm attracted to men. I'm attracted to women, too. Right. Uh, I wouldn't be on a blind date with you if I wasn't. Thanks for telling me. Yeah, it's kind of a bombshell, I realize. Oh, she's so sweet. Uh, some of my friends were oh, kind like of alluding her. to it and joking about oh, it. Okay. Um, actually, uh, all of those guys in there deal with it, too. Right. So, uh... When Tom did open up to me about the SSA, I immediately thought, wow, this is something really brave of him to do. What is it that makes you want to continue Don't on you. in the way you've chosen? It's, it's just what I've always wanted the most. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What is it that you want the most? To be married, have a wife, have kids, mm -hmm. have a family. Just mm -hmm. to live the way I think I God want wants Emily me to live. Bouncing I'm glad on my that Mormon you dick. feel comfortable enough with me to start things out like that. Yeah, so. like you just seem like a great girl, and, and I know it would be something that would be hard to find out later on. Sorry to drop it on you like a bombshell okay. there after a first date, but you're great, and I'd, I'd love to spend more time with you or go out again, and so... Thank you. Yeah. That would be fun. Can I give you a hug? Oh, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was a Mormon hug if I ever seen one. Have a good night. I'll uh, give you a call soon. Great. Thank you. Yeah. When I first yeah. started really dealing with the fact that I was attracted to men... I hate his hair. Sorry. I don't know that I ever pictured myself being where I am now, not hiding it. It's just so, it's like so straight up. It's so at attention, you know what I mean? Balding sucks. I don't, he could be bald. Being really open with the people in my life and even new people I meet. He's not bald. What do you mean? And when someone- He's got cop hair, dude, exactly. He's got cop hair. Handles it well, it's huge. Oh. Hey. Sorry, just been outside making out for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> I love Tom. I love How'd Tom. How'd it go? Uh, I talked to her about the SSA, wow. and she was awesome. Serious? Um, she said she'd be up for going out again. I don't know if she did. Hey, hey, hey awesome. top. That's awesome. It's incredibly important for a woman to be accepting of the same-sex attraction. You can't ignore it. I told her I would have a word with all of you about your hints. <laughs> <laughs> One of my biggest fears is that I won't be able to make it work, or I'll find the right girl and fall in love with her, and she won't be able to handle it. And now that that's oh. over with, is there any more pie left? Oh, yeah, come and get yeah. some. Definitely. Oh, God. I don't think the SSA will ever go away totally. I think I'll always have some level of attraction to men. Y yeah. I think so, yeah. I think that's how that works. But I'm okay with that. There's no episode two, Chad. That's it. It's a one. It's a single episode special. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. That was it. That was everything. It was Toto. That was nuts. I'm glad we watched that today. Because that's, that's... Today was a perfect day for it. Just being sick, vibing out. Chilling. Ah. Uh, Good night, guys. All right, we're going to do a... Um, on Friday, we're going to go over... Um, want to play Lockdown Protocol? Not really, dude. I kind of just want to turn off the lights and go cuddle your mom. <laughs> Check in on her. Here, I'll stay live. Stinky Binky. Uh, quick updates though. Media share is coming up in a couple weeks. We'll announce it on Friday. Friday, we're going to go over the art contest as well. The art contest is Friday. Uh, the Mummy Returns um, is currently being worked on. It's going to be our next movie night. Um, I will let you guys know uh, when the movie night will be. 
uh, uh, in advance, but there will also be no VOD. We, our next movie night is The Mummy Returns, so keep that in mind, okay? I should be better by Friday, back to normal, I hope. Uh, and the way to get better is to get the fuck off stream. So I'm going to do that. But first, we'll do 1, 1 to 20 real quick. I know you guys been doing this shit off, off on the subreddit, so I got you. All right, here we go. Let's see what I can make happen here. 793. It's got to go here. 333. Got to go here. 24. We'd love to see that. I think 24 is the lowest number I'm going to get. 637. It's right here. Nine, that's right here. Oh, huge. 499. That's here. 114. That's, that's here. 402. Oh, shit. That's here. Here. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'll try again. 499 gotta be 10. Oh, you're so right. Oh, is that the highest number I'm gonna get? Yes, it is. Here. Uh, here. Oh, shit. 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 Here. Wow, I'm doing terribly. Okay, hold on. Look at the stats. It's so interesting. I will hold on. Let me let me figure this out first, though. Oh my god, we keep hitting these. That's crazy. Uh, right here. Boom. Oh shit. Oh, <gasps> this could be a good run. 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 Oh my god, this could be it. This could be it. This could be it. This could be it. Twelve or thirteen. What do you guys think? Twelve or thirteen. Let's do thirteen. Ooh, baby. Oh my god. Oh damn it. How many were left? That was pretty good. What are the stats? Click on stats. What do we got here? Oh my god. Look at this. Somebody did it. Wait, what? What is this 20 here? I don't get it. Why is nine who who cheated here? AI hacked it. Oh. Y'all are boring. What the fuck? Wow, this is cool. So as long as you beat nine, you're doing better than than the average. So let's see if we can do better than average. Oh, that's tough. Oh, that's tough. Oh, that's tough. Ooh, that's tough. Are you kidding me? Ooh, I like that. 289, I like that. Oh my gosh, 146. Oh my gosh. Wait, did we already get past where he... No. <clears throat> Since it's totally random, my bell curve is accurate distribution. Data gets my rocks off. You want me to get your rocks off the real way? Check this shit out. I'm gonna get your rocks off right now, dude. Check this shit out. Ooh, the number of the beast. Check this shit out. Gotta get these rocks. Up. <coughs> All right, guys. Um, I'll see you on Friday. Thanks for being patient. I'm sorry I'm sick, but also it's not my fault. But I'm still sorry. I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate the subs. I appreciate the love. I'll see you guys on Friday. Make sure to drink fluid. This one's for the ladies. Good night.